Okay. The big boy. Not everything is from here, but a lot of stuff are. Oh. <laughs> this is a cute little lingerie set for, you know. We're not going to talk about that. Look who it is. Look who it is. If you have questions on my lashes, I've got opinions. We're going to get to that later. I last filmed in like February. I have not uploaded since I think around Christmas and that is disgusting. I don't think I'm at a place where I need to do like a whole full like update. I used to feel like I was like one of those people I'm like oh my god I have to film a life update because like people care and maybe you care but I just don't see the point in filming that but what I do know that I need to do is tell you why I haven't been here. Ooh. So I started a new job at the beginning of the year and it has like a kind of a weird schedule that even after two full months I've still not fully adjusted to so it's just kind of taken me out a little bit. Also I was just feeling weird. I didn't like to put out weird energy and when you force yourself to film or edit or do anything when you're feeling weird and everything is just weird it's just not a vibe. So that's where I've been and um, I've been buying shit. You can't fully see it. You see it a little bit. I am surrounded by the stuff that I purchased. Not all of it because if I showed you all of it right now that'd be terrible. It would look so bad. <laughs> But I have some of the stuff, so I'm going to share with you the stuff that I have recently, and I think maybe one of my next few videos will be like the things that I've, like current favorites basically. So, how long was that? Two minutes. Good God. Let's get into the stuff that I purchased. So the first thing I can't fully share with you, I don't fully know how I feel about it. I'll play around in editing and see, but I bought a new ring light. I feel like I buy ring lights like how most people buy, I don't know, like water jugs or something. I don't, I don't know. I buy too many of them because I'm never satisfied with them. The one I have, I'm going to put screenshots of everything that I can't put screenshots of. This one is by UB size. The box is too far. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about it, but I mean, I'm on the floor right now and it's perfectly standing and I could also make it like super tall, which I love. So I might just keep it for that. It could be brighter. I will say that. First thing I got because I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna get back on my ground. I have to get all this stuff. Something else that I can't show, I could show you the trash of it though. I got a new SD card. Why can't I show you it? It's in the camera. I wanted to start filming a while ago and my SD card was full. My last one was 64 gigs. This one is 256 gigabytes. It should hold the kid down for quite some time. I threw it on the cord of this. <laughs> and then I got a backup battery. Also, I have the box, so I can show you the box. It's in the camera. It came fully charged though. It was only, oh my god, I didn't take prices. The ring light was $35. It's giving $35 quality. The SD card was around $40. I feel like that's a decent price. And the charger, it was $25, which I think is fair. Um, it came with a full charge. This is the, this is the plastic. This is the charger for it. You have the plug-in cord and it also came with like a car adapter oh, I'm holding it I I don't know now I can't complain when I say I want to film and I'm like oh my god I'm out of space oh my god my camera battery's dead I have two and I have way more space on my camera than I've ever had before I also got a selfie not a selfie stick it's a tripod for your phone I don't know if I'll actually do this, but I really want to play around with like the content that I do for anything. I want to take like cute photos. I want to be like on the scene. So I got a separate tripod. Thankfully this one isn't that big. I feel like if I'm wearing a big tote, I can like compress it and keep it in the bag. And they always come with these Bluetooth remotes. I've got like five of these now. Whatever. Let's move on to fun stuff. So, oh. I forgot two of the main things I wanted to show you. Please hold. Ugh. Okay. So, I haven't really been buying... Oh my god. <gasps> I haven't really been buying as much makeup stuff, but I do want to get back into it. I feel like finally they're releasing new foundations. So, I bought some stuff. I'm showing you the fun parts. I got the new NARS foundation. I'm wearing it today. I'm obsessed with this foundation. 
I don't know if this ring light's going to play me, but I love it. I got it in the shade Tahoe, and I got the limited edition of the Laura Mercier pressed powder. Um, it comes with a puff. I don't know how to do this anymore. It comes with a puff, and it comes with a jumbo-ass tub of the powder, and it's so pretty. There goes that. It went to Ulta. I love to see it. I guess we'll talk about my lashes now. I feel like these look ridiculous in the best way but I, I know that it's a slippery slope I ordered two packs I'm returning one this is the one I got they look so pretty in here I ordered these off Amazon because I wanted new lashes for when I do my little lash extensions and it's kind of like the only thing I do to like make myself feel extra because I've been trying to play around with my hair lately and I've been hating it every single time I shave my hair oh my god I hate it so <laughs> I figured okay like I'll just care about other stuff like my makeup and my lashes and stuff these are the one of the more natural pairs in the set. I feel like I'm about to fly away. But I kind of like that. I don't know. Those bottom ones, we're going to save those for like, I don't know, Halloween time trail. And then this is the other pack I got. These just look super intense. But I love how fluffy and like messy. I have my hair in it. I love how fluffy and messy looking they are but they're longer than the ones I'm currently wearing so it's that's a no for me babe. it's too much it's too much too soon we're gonna hop around because I've been all over the place so then I got a new pair of sneakers I've been wearing the same gross dirty pair of dad sneakers I'm obsessed with them but they're so bad I actually bought stuff to try to clean it I don't know if those will be saved so I was like you know what at work I get to dress however I want. I don't know why I stuttered. So I was like, I should get a nice new pair of sneakers. I wanted the Adidas Oswegos for so long. They're always sold out in my size. They love to see it. But when I went on the Adidas site, I saw that they have these, which are the Adidas Oswellias. I have these in white, off-white. And as much as I... Ooh, not the dirty soul. <laughs> I have worn them already. Looks so pretty. As much as I like them back to me they don't stay laced I got them on sale for like $70 they do not stay tied and I look like a toddler bending over every few minutes to tie my damn laces in one walk I tied them like four times I don't know how you guys do it I'm not a sneaker girl all the sneakers I'm looking at right now are like off brand and they're my favorites I finally spend more on one and it's it's kind of hell but whatever okay the big boy not everything is from here, but a lot of stuff are. Oh, <laughs> this is a cute little lingerie set for, you know, we're not going to talk about that. I purchased a bunch of stuff. I've been buying a lot more on Poshmark because it's addictive. It's addictive. I, I bought two things this morning alone from Poshmark. And when I tell you after this, I'm on a no buy. It's ridiculous. Any whoozy. This one seller had a couple of things that I really wanted, so I ordered it. There's this matching set, which you guys know by now I'm obsessed with. If you forgot, I'm obsessed with matching sets. So this is from Nasty Gal. It has these cream shorts. It says it's a large, but I feel like it fits like an extra large for the bottoms. And this is profane, so of course I bought it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So I got this, and then she also had this bodysuit that I wanted from Zara. Brand new with tags, thank God, because you know, it's kind of like a slippery slope. And it's, ugh, it's just so cute. I love it. Now, the reason why I didn't buy it from the Zara site is because it only is in sizes small, medium, medium, large. But she told me it's super stretchy, so since I was getting it a little bit cheaper off Zara, I was like, okay, fine, I'll try it out. It is the stretchiest bodysuit I've ever worn, but it's just not that much that flattering. Which I guess brings me to my next purchase of the day. I signed up at a gym. We're getting back on that as well. I'm still having white kale salads, but I don't know what the hell I'm putting in them, so we're back on that grind. Um, let's let's keep going. <laughs> so these, I filmed a video which will probably go up a little bit after this, where it's like a haul but I just keep vlogging every time and showing what I bought instead of like one 
traditional haul like this because I thought it would be kind of fun. I don't know if it's fun or if it's manic, but I'm going to edit that next. I mentioned these in them, and I'm obsessed and because I signed up at the gym. I went back. This is the brand I should show you here. These are full soft leggings from Amazon. You get a three pack. I spent like $26 or $27, but they're like the crossover. I'm going to put a screenshot of it. These are the softest leggings I have ever worn. The softest leggings I've ever worn. And they just look so flattering. I had a lot of legging days at work. And then once I was like leaning towards the gym, I was like, oh, you're going to have to buy another pack. So I did. I'm not going to take them all out of here because it's very uh, plasticky. Each one is individually sealed. A lot. You can hear the noise. So I'm not going to do that. But like, I love them. Moving on. Then I went to TJ Maxx. I've been going to TJ Maxx a lot. It's kind of a problem. Not for me, but more so for my wallet. It's just so addictive. So I was on the hunt for a BBL workout jacket. And if you know what I mean, then you know what I mean. But it has the thumb holes in it. I'm obsessed. I bought one in black from 90 Degree by Reflex, which is my favorite athletic brand it's come to be. And I was like, oh my god, I love this. I need this in other colors. But I do like more color, which is something you wouldn't be able to tell right now. But I have been loving more color lately. <sighs> Whatever. This is long-winded. I bought another one at TJ Maxx. They were both about $20. The brand for this one is different. It's Harmony Balance. And it's like this gray kind of... It looks like grayish green with black stripes. I don't know if it's the stripes there. I'm obsessed I'm obsessed it looks so nice and flattering on so I got that and then this is a tank from the brand aura it's like eight dollars this is the second one I have in the exact same color because I don't have to wear a bra I don't have to wear a bra it looks and they look good they look good and I don't have to wear a bra so I love these I was trying to find them in like a pack with other colors um, but it's such a nice staple for me especially under that jacket so I got that and then I got because I'm tired of all the black I'm tired of all the black too but I can't do the bright colors I could do a fun print but I saw none so I got these brown leggings on sale okay they were $13 these are the Wonderlink high rise by 90 degree by reflex in the shade cappuccino and it's a it's a gorgeous shade of brown it's a gorgeous shade of brown I feel like this with like a crew neck sweater and then my sneakers with my scrunched up dad socks because that's always my vibe and I could do that like for work if I'm going to go to the gym after and just bring a big t-shirt. I might actually do that. Am I going to go back tomorrow? Maybe. I don't know. I, I love these and they fit so comfortably. And this other pair of leggings I bought, at first I was so hell bent on returning them but I love the color. These are by the brand Alexander Jordan and they're this really pretty cream color of leggings. I feel like I would wear these more so as like a pant casually than for working out. But I like them and I got them and my earring just got caught on that. And then last item that I bought which just came in the mail today. I am obsessed but I remember being young and it was impossible especially because we went to the city a lot. It was impossible to be out and about and not see people walking around shopping with the actual bags like this. And then when I saw that they made them into different like tote bags, like you can get like a smaller one for like your lunch, which I almost did. I'm glad I didn't though because I got this one. I just think it's so cute. I think it's so cute. And these fucking cars, bruh. I just think it's so cute. And then when I saw this one, I'm going to... This is from Poshmark, so I wasn't going to include photos, but I might because I think they took this off the website. You could fit so much in this tiny or medium-sized <laughs> PVC tote. They had somebody put sneakers in there. I was like, oh my god, cute work bag, cute gym bag, cute transitional bag, and I am obsessed. And also the strap is just long enough to be under your arm and not really move and not have to keep adjusting. So I bought it. I bought it. That's all the stuff I got recently. And that's where I've been right now in my life. I am realizing that I'm doing a lot of this, a lot of shopping, and I see myself getting back into habits that I've been in before. So we're going to reel it in 
and be a lot more purposeful with our spending but this was just kind of fun to just buy shit just because I could buy shit so that's what I did some of the stuff I hope you enjoyed the video I hope I hope you're here I don't know if you clicked on it but I hope you enjoyed the video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one Bye.